I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about working with integrals. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about section 5.4 working with integrals and we'll start with problem number 11 which asks us to use symmetry to find the integral from negative 2 to 2 of x to the ninth minus 3x to the fifth plus 2x squared minus 10 dx. And the key here is we want to use symmetry to do this problem. Uh, and what symmetry helps us with is we know if something is an odd function, then if we're taking the integral from something like negative 2 to 2, then its integral is 0. And if it's an even function, then we could just double the integral from 0 to 2. Well, this is not an even function or an odd function. <coughs> so as it is, we can't do either of those tricks. But if we broke it down into some pieces, then we could. And what I see here is, first of all, I've got some things in here that are odd functions. I've also got some things in here that are even functions. So let's just break these into two integrals an integral of the odd functions and an integral of the evens. So I could rewrite this integral as the integral from negative 2 to 2 of x to the ninth minus 3x to the fifth dx. So that's an odd function. So we can just leave it here. Uh, plus, now we'll write an integral from negative 2 to 2 of 2x squared minus 10, which is an even function, dx. <clears throat> now, uh, since this guy is all an odd function, the integral from negative 2 to 2 of an odd function, dx, that's just 0. So this whole thing is 0, and we're done with that. And if we want to make life easier on ourselves here, we can say, since I know that this is an even function, I can just take 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 of 2x squared minus 10 dx. So we've simplified this whole problem down to 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 of 2x squared minus 10 dx, which is 2 times, if I take an antiderivative of 2x squared, I get... 2 thirds x cubed minus 10x evaluated from 0 to 2. So now I just need to plug in 2, subtract plugging in 0, and I get 2 times. If I plug in 2, I get 2 cubed, which is 8, times 2, which is 16, so 16 thirds. And then if I plug in 2 here, I get minus 10 times 2 which is minus 20. Um, and then I need to subtract plugging in 0. But if I plug in 0, I get 0 minus 0, which is just 0. And so I just get 2 times 16 thirds minus 20. Well, what is that? Uh, 20 is the same as 60 thirds. So if I take 16 minus 60 thirds, I suppose that would be negative 44 thirds. So it's 2 times negative 44 thirds, which is the same thing as negative 88 thirds. And does that go in evenly? No, it does not. So I'll just leave it there. Negative 88 thirds is my answer. And I was able to make it a little easier by looking at the symmetry. 